Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We have a bit of a conundrum on our hands. It looks to me like it's gonna rain, and I got the roof off, and it's kind of a hassle to put it on by myself. But the weather report says cloudy only. Now, do I trust this, or do I, I, I don't know, or should I put the roof on? I, it looks awfully sketchy to me. I don't know. That really looks like rain. What do I know about the weather? Nothing. So anyway, today is day one of the Jeep build. We're going to load up these massive boxes into the Jeep. We're going to take it over to Shane's because Curtis is going to help us install what is in the boxes. And what is that, you might ask? We're going to find out. I think we risk it for the biscuit. I think we go with the roof off. If it starts to rain, you know what? It's not going to kill me. I feel bad for the UPS guy who has my delivery route. He has to deliver a lot of really heavy and big boxes to this house all the time. Okie doke. I think we're good to go. Hopefully that doesn't fly out. No, the spare tire's gonna hold it. Roll out with our giant boxes. Day one of the Jeep build. All right, and here we go. Sorry, I got the heat blasting because it was a little chilly on the ride over, I'm not gonna lie. The giveaway vet. So by the time you see this upload, unless you're early and you catch it the night of release, most people watch my video the next day. So by the time you see it, uh, we will have three days left to win that car in chaindesigns.com. Every five bucks you spend is an entry to win. Again, three days left and uh, we're gonna be calling somebody. So keep your phone on you. I don't know what day it's gonna be. Uh, I think it's uh, gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. Keep your phone on you, and if you see a 717 area code, answer it because if you see a 717 number, it's gotta be us. Hey, Curtis. Love you, bud. Curtis. Hey, girl. Are you ready, dude? No. Jeep bumpers. That's what I like to hear. Okay. I think it should be easy. I think it should be either. It's Jeep bumpers. How hard can it be? Good question. That's, that's what I thought was going to work. Bam. We're in business. All right, buddy. All right. Now, Curtis, I'm not going to lie to you. They're a little heavy. Strip it open. There we go. Well, we don't, we're not going to need the box, dude. Whoa. Actually, this could be fun, dude. These could be kind of fun to have around. Alex, you want to kick one of these, dude? Check this out. Oh! Hold that box, Alex, no, hold that box, buddy, come on! <laughs> hold it! Oh, I love how Curtis, is, Curtis already has his, like, nicely removed. <laughs> and ours is just being absolutely <laughs> molested. Curtis, <laughs> are doing this. Well, did you put the No. You want to grab that box? Just put it on. on. So, as I'm sure you guys can tell, it's bumpers for the Jeep. These things weigh like 8,000 pounds. Are they heavy? It's pretty bad. Well, you don't make it look heavy, so I never know. Well, I appreciate that. All right, there you go, bud. Slap her on there. Wow. Dude, That's I have to say, fingers. for 300 bucks, that looks pretty sick. That is pretty happy. The coating is good, feels good. In fact, bumpers for the Jeep, off-road bumpers with uh, D-ring shackles included. And I got these off of a Jeep website. I forget what it is, but I'll look tonight when I edit. I'll put the link down below. Um, not a sponsored upload, but these were only 300 bucks each, which is pretty cheap considering like my truck bumpers from Road Armor were like $1,400 each. So I was very happy to see Jeep bumpers are not that expensive and they look really good. Welds look pretty good, pretty high quality. The coating looks nice. And uh, we'll see how they go on. Not film that, Nate? No, I mean, no, I mean what we were talking about. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. Latest Euro trash. This guy, German Engineering and his Subaru. I don't know what kind of company I'm in here. Everybody's favorite, the political stickers are on the website. All fun and games, although some people do rage, which I understand. We got Biden 2020 coming, by the way, but this is what we got so far. They're up, check them out. Free shipping on everything on the website as well until the giveaway ends. Pretty hype about that. What do you guys think our number one seller is out of these right here? And I'll tell you. <laughs> I could tell you. 
I can tell you who it's not, Nate says. It's not the Bernie 2020, that's for sure. Trump 2020, isn't it? Yeah. Get Biden on here as well. We, we know he's the front runner by far for the Democratic Party. Uh, right now, the number one seller is Trump 2020 with the flag. The important thing is, forget about funny stuff. Nate and I were saying, you gotta vote. It's the most important thing, you know, whether you- And a lot of young people don't vote. Yes, yes. And whether you like somebody, whether you hate somebody, which, I mean, right now, that's where we're at. You either <laughs> like somebody or you yep. hate somebody. But the most important thing is you vote, you know? You have the rights. As of 18 years of age, you have the right to go vote. So and this vote. is a big one. So get out there and vote for 2020. Also buy a sticker and maybe win a Corvette. I more of these than I know what to do with. Tailgate kit's going out like crazy. How many have you done, do you think? They're a big a seller. Dozen, yeah. A yeah. And they're all, you know, hand. Done. And they're all hand done. They are, yeah. A regular flag for the Curtis is already. I'm supposed to be over there helping. It's fun, you do what you gotta do. He's all, <laughs> so you can get a regular flag, regular flag, or a tattered flag for the tailgate kit. Uh, we got posters up on the site, Forge Carbon stuff. We got game console skins, hats, key tags. It's all there. Every five bucks you spend on InChainDesigns.com is an entry to win the Corvette. The giveaway ends in three days. Check it out. We know that the traffic on the website has been crazy, but everything for the giveaway is on the main page. Every product here gets you entered. It doesn't matter what you buy. Um, but some people, are, because of the traffic, some people are having issues with the web page loading, but. We have a wide variety of products that are available, so we're getting around to it. I know there's a lot of people who are still asking if they order, if they're not getting their order, if they're entered into the giveaway, everybody orders is entered. Yeah, regardless of whether your item ships yep. or not or whatever, you're, you're definitely entered. That's automatic in but the system. But don't worry, if it hasn't shipped yet, it will ship. All right, you're good. All righty, all righty. Oh, old bumper is off already. Now, Curtis, on a scale of one to ten, how hard is that? Like a one and a half. Like a <laughs> one and a half. They really do look like crap. That's like the first, yeah, I feel like that's the first thing you gotta do with a Jeep. You gotta get those plastic bumpers off. They're terrible. Um, this thing looks awesome. I don't feel like we should take that off. Maybe. Oh, the tow hook? Yeah, yeah. I can do that, Curtis. You take a break. You take a break. Oh, yeah. Some good quality rust right there, buddy. Oh, yeah, the best. Really cut the exhaust. Oh, yeah, I cut that exhaust tapping. right off, buddy. What do you think? That looks great. That's a very clean cut. Now, I'm proud of you. Now, don't worry. We got a Corsa on the way, dude. It's not going to look like that forever. Oh, great. I get to install that, too? Probably, dude. Yeah, Probably. We're, we're going to cut this shit off, dude. It's pretty heavy duty. I'm not going to lie. They did make sure to make that strong. Incredible. Curtis came up with the ingenious idea to hold the new bumper on this jack, which I think is quite smart. And now all I gotta do is put the bolts in. That looks epic. That looks so much better. What is going on? Dude. Dude. I give you one pass. Dude, I completely. I'm, I'm shaking it all up. I'm shaking <laughs> it all up. That's like, a set, dude. Everybody who ordered like anything Trump all gotta buy it. Oh, yeah, anybody who ordered Trump stuff, we sent him a Hillary sticker instead. What are you doing? Nah. You're taking a nap, dude. That looks actually really comfy. I know, that's why I laid it. All right, let me put your roof on. <laughs> you put my cover on, please? I'll put your cover on. Keep talking, man. Okay. Curtis, do we need this other bumper in this? Oh my God! You probably, honestly, you probably would have fallen asleep. There goes Shane dropping his phone. I would have been asleep, dude. Bro, tell me, okay, look look at the old one. Dude, you guys, I was gone for like 20 minutes. This okay. piece of poop right here. Yeah? Poop. Puppy. Plastic. Puppy. Look at the new one. Dude, you guys got bumpers on and I wasn't even gone at all. How cool is that? Yeah. Well, you say you guys, it was really Curtis. I'm just standing here. Hmm. Nice. The rear bumper is on, supported by its own weight. Nate has a box. It was definitely a pretty easy install. The only thing was lining up the inner bracket. If you can see, lining up the inner bracket, it, the holes are a little bit like a little bit close. It's actually better on this side than it is on the other side. But that could be the Jeep too. The Jeep could very well be a little rusty and bent or whatnot, but it took us about 20 minutes. Really good fitment overall though. Very flush with the Jeep, nice and level. Pretty easy. Curtis, what would you give this out of a, a one to 10 for install? Aside from the fitment issues, it's like a four. Four? Nice. 
Probably like an eight if you have to do it by yourself. Yeah, yeah, or if you didn't have a jack. We now have a trailer hitch rather than just a recovery hook, which is nice too. So we can tow with it if we want to. It's rated for towing and all that. That's that's awesome. How do you feel about it? it weighs like 800 pounds. It, it, is, it is definitely heavier than the plastic, but that's, you want that. It's rugged. Yes. It's yeah. rugged. I love it. Back was cool, don't get me wrong, but the front is gonna be the really, really awesome part and uh, the part I'm most excited about. I can't wait to see the transformation. So I'm gonna stand right here in the same spot and then we'll do like a nice little fade out for the before shot. Told you. Told you the impact would work, dude. Yourself. There's four more? Yeah. Where? In here. Ah. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's what I was saying, dude. It's that's bullshit. How about we, hey, hey, that's a shirt idea slash sticker idea. Big chunkus. Big, Big chunkus. Definitely more of a challenge. It was really rusted on there, but got the front bumper off. That was, that was rough, Curtis. For him, not for me, but wow. That bull bar, that is awesome. That is awesome. It's got mounts for a light bar. It also has the uh, mounting plate and a hole for the winch, which is really cool if we get a winch. I didn't get one because they were out of stock on this website, but I might get a winch at some point. Wow, that's gonna look so good. I don't know if this Jeep was sitting for a while or what, but I am 90% sure a mouse or mice made a nest in here because there's like paper <laughs> and all kinds, yeah, it's definitely, that, that's a hundred, Curtis, did you see this? This is a hundred percent a mouse nest. That's what this is, absolutely. Yeah, dude, I told you, I saw one running around there earlier. <laughs> the hottest thing I've seen you do, yeah. <laughs> right, and here we are, and I will admit, guys, I mean, why is my I, uh, iPhone, cord hanging out of the door. Uh, I will admit I made a big, big mistake, uh, rookie mistake here, and I should know better after vlogging for like four years now, but I, my GoPro ran out of battery life and I didn't have a spare. But anyway, the front bumper is now on. We do have to put the little uh, D-ring shackles on there, but it looks really, really freaking good. So, so let me put these on real quick and then I'll show you the before picture and we'll compare it to what it looks like now. One and two, and we're done. So, let me show you the before. This is our before. And here you can see from about the same angle, the after, and no question about it, the after looks amazing, way better, really badass, I love the look. Uh, it had everything that I wanted, which I wanted, you know, a pretty low profile bumper, but I wanted like, uh, the big bull bar, but I didn't want the one that's like way out, even though those are kind of cool. I wanted something a little less crazy, and uh, this was really, really good. And again, it was only like 300 bucks and the back one was 300 bucks, so about 600 for both. A pretty easy install. Now the one thing I will say for sure is, and it's kind of nice, it comes with the mounts for a light bar. Not sure about doing a top mounted light bar, but I am definitely going to get a winch because this looks really empty here and it's even got the slot for the winch, so I, I feel like we definitely should do that. And uh, also I wanna clean up these frame rails because now that you can see those, they look uh, pretty, pretty bad. Not nearly as pretty as the new bumper is, but yeah, you can reuse the factory fog lights, which is nice, and uh, she's good to go. That looks really, really good. So there is the front, and then another quick look at the back. Very, very cool. Big, big improvement. I think a great, pretty inexpensive first mod for the Jeep. And uh, you can see, even though you know we're we're going to be spending a little bit more money than the Blazer. We're not going crazy with it. I am gonna keep this pretty budget, and I feel like 600 bucks for two bumpers is definitely still what you would consider a budget build. Three days left to win the 2019 Grand Sport. Check out the website, inshanedesigns.com. Every five bucks you spend is an entry, and the custom poster tool is now back online. So if you have a picture you like, you can send it in to us, and we'll make it into a poster of your choice, any size, whatever, we can do that for you. The custom poster tool is back online, back on the website right now. If you did enjoy the upload, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.